Having amended the report to include the name of the nominee to the East African Affairs and Commerce and Tourism, Phyllis Candier, who had been rejected by the Appointments Committee, members engaged in a heated debate as to whether to adopt or reject the report as amended. Members allied to the Code Coalition advocated for its rejection, claiming it failed to meet the constitutional requirement of regional balance, having eight out of 16 nominees coming from two communities. If you look at the composition of this proposed cabinet, bearing in mind that the cabinet will have these 16 nominees, including the, plus the president, the deputy president, and the attorney general, you find that members of the community from where the president emanates will have that 1% of the composition of the cabinet. And members of the community from where the deputy president emanates will have equal that 1% of the entire composition. This is a whole 62% of the entire cabinet coming from two communities. While the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, Article 130, is clear that the composition of the national executive shall re reflect the regional and ethnic diversity of the people of Kenya. This is what you voted for as Kenyans, and you cannot take us aside. Otherwise, you should have prevented us from voting for that. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Jubilee affiliates fervently defended President Uhuru Kenyatta's balancing act, claiming it had people from every province. Na uteuzi hii haijaisha mweshtrimu wa speaker, manake leo tunakumina ane. Katiba inatuambia wateuli mpaka 20 na wawili mweshtrimu wa speaker. Kwa hivyo hii ni jambo ambaye inaendelea. The names of the 16 nominees have now been forwarded to the government printer and will be published in a special gazette notice which will be released tomorrow. On Thursday, President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to formally appoint the nominees, preparing them to be sworn in as cabinet secretaries. The president and his deputy are also expected to name the nominees to fill the two remaining dockets of Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government and that of Labor, Special Security and Services. Kendagor, Obadiah Citizen Live at 9.